Hey fellas, Brian with Cajun Cardboard coming at you with mail day number 11. As always, my mail days are a little different than most. My cards, not all, but some, actually most of the cards that I buy, certainly the graded cards that I don't intend to immediately flip, are shipped directly to my PWCC vault. So over here on our left, uh, on my left screen, on your main screen, you can see, um, I'm gonna put together a little slideshow to show you guys which cards arrived in my vault and had just been curated and uploaded. So we have digital images of each. Uh, as most of you know, I am chasing the 1997 uh, Precious Metal Gems Red set. This is one of the stranger looking uh, cards in the set. It's almost like they cut off half of Austin Crozier's face and right arm. Um, and I don't see his left leg or his right leg. I, I don't really know what's going on here. I'm telling you, this is one of the strangest um, strangest sets you've ever seen. Uh, but uh, Austin Crozier, actually uh, out of Providence, but had a really um, explosive playoffs one year and then signed a monster contract and got paid more than he ever deserved. But uh, he was like uh, one of those first pick and pop bigs that could actually put the ball on the floor a couple times. Uh, played really hard, got paid, and then we never really heard from him again. Uh, but happy to add this raw one. At some point, all of these raw PMGs that I have, I'm going to send them off to PSA and uh, get them slabbed in PSA slabs, hopefully, God willing. Uh, next on our list, as you guys know, I'm a huge Kevin Porter Jr. guy. I picked up this PSA 10 for 60 or 65 bucks or something like that. There's been some really cheap KPJ slipping through the cracks. I'm not saying go out and buy his base uh, prism or base select or optic or whatever, but silver is the new base, hollow is the new base. That's my new theory here. So these are going to be the types of investment pieces out there. Um, it's just funny because when I do my mail days, you'll see very, very, very big cards. And then you'll also see I can't resist buying cards like this that I think are undervalued, even if it's only to uh, move them, you know, in a couple months or a couple years to make 40, 50 bucks. That's just kind of how I do things. I don't know if that's right or wrong. Uh, I always try to convince myself to chill out and consolidate. I just can't do it. So uh, when I see a player that I truly believe in, like I do with Kevin Porter Jr., and I see his Optic Hollow PSA 10, which is a pretty tough card to grade a 10. It's harder than a silver prism PSA 10. Uh, but when I see one of these for 50, 60 bucks, I, I just buy it. So that, that's what I did. So that's uh, nothing really super sexy or exciting about this card. It's not a rare card. It's what we call a commodity card in the hobby, but I uh, picked it up. Now here is a big card. This is a pop eight. Uh, as you guys know, uh, Shaquille is probably my second or third largest PC, probably my third or third or fourth largest PC behind uh, really our only PC four players. So LeBron, uh, Jordan is my my biggest and best and uh, the, the player collection that I focus on the most by far. Uh, after him is LeBron, probably second uh, as far as value goes and quantity of cards. After that is probably Shaq or Giannis uh, in some order. But those are the only four guys that I PC. That's where I put, um, you know, I put the majority of my money in this hobby into a very low risk uh, conservative, what I think are good long-term plays. This is a card that I really care about. It's uh, the 1997 Metal Universe Championship Galaxy uh, PSA 10. Um, it's card number four. Uh, this is uh, just a really cool card from that set. Um, I've got the Jordan in PSA 10 as well, so I really wanted to have these two together so I could pair these two together. Um, so uh, pick this card up. I thought relatively cheap. If I recall, I think I got it pulled up. Yeah, so this is my purchase right here. So I picked it up for $19.50 on eBay. Uh, had it shipped directly to the PWCC vault. The sale before this was about three, four months ago for $22.75. Uh, so I felt pretty good about it. 14.3%, uh, you know, below the last comp uh, in the last two years, only two have sold. Uh, just those two, mine and the one before that. It's a pop eight. And there's not going to be any more added to the pop or at least not anytime soon. I just think it's kind of undervalued for less than 2000 bucks for that card. I mean, I think the Jordan, uh, I probably should have looked this up. Let me see what the Jordan's worth. Uh... I probably I did not prepare well for this. Uh, let me type in championship galaxy Jordan PSA 10. Uh, you know the Jordan is a eleven thousand, twelve thousand dollar card, thirteen up to fourteen, up to sixteen. So uh, the Jordan is three times the pop, and it's a twelve thousand dollar card. So it's one sixth the value of the Jordan. Uh, I didn't give a lot of thought to ratios or what the card is worth or should be worth. I just know it's pop eight, and it's from a you know a really important set from the uh, nineteen ninety seven uh, year. So I picked it up. Uh, moving on. 
Uh, so that's Shaq. That's card number three on our list. Uh, next is another PMG Red, Sherman Douglas. Great player at Syracuse back in the day. Uh, really good point guard. Uh, I think he played with Cycli, if I recall, and a couple other really fun guys to watch in college. Uh, maybe Stevie Thompson. Uh, I'm trying to remember. I used to watch a lot of the Syracuse games as kids, and they had a, some really, really good teams, and he was a big reason why, a college All-American, and a pretty good player in the NBA as well. Uh, I think this is my second copy of the Sherman Douglas PMGs. Um, I, I have been picking up uh, some duplicates here and there because at some point I'm going to need those to trade to to try to complete the set when we get down to the uh, to the very end. Some of those commons are very rare, so I'm hoping to package those together to pick up some other ones. This one doesn't have as many uh, LSD laced uh, psychedelic psychotropic drug type uh, images on it. It just looks like Sherman Douglas throwing a nice little bounce pass in my favorite team's uniform. I don't even remember when he played for the Bucks, but he's in a Bucks uniform there. Uh, next on our list is uh, another not so exciting card. This is a Matt Maloney card. So he played for the uh, Rockets, one of the most iconic Rockets uniforms pictured right here with those pinstripes, those vertical pinstripes that sort of evoke memories of Steve Francis. But uh, Matt Maloney actually formed an incredible backcourt, probably the greatest backcourt in uh, the uh, University of Pennsylvania history with uh, another NBA player named Jerome Allen. Both of those guys were very good college players. Uh, I don't think I'm misspeaking here. Didn't he play for Penn? Yeah, he played for Penn with Jerome Allen. Um, this is uh, you know, this is what the card looks like when it gets you know approved by the eBay authentication, and they throw it in a freaking semi-rigid. You know, there's a million things that I want to say right now about this eBay authentication process. If you haven't seen my video, go watch my video. I'm not a big fan of it. I want them to stop. I want them to go away forever. Uh, I'm using eBay less and less because uh, I just don't. I'm, it's just not the same, and I don't want people touching my cards and they've rejected a few of my cards luckily the last five raw pmgs have actually gotten through the authentication process uh next on the list uh nothing big just a little baby uh it's a 2019 lebron james green prism uh, PSA 10. I picked this up for I think maybe 60 bucks or something like that off of uh, a PWCC Weekly. Uh, I grabbed this card because I've got the 2012 green LeBron PSA 10, the 2013 green LeBron PSA 10, and I think I have 2014 and 2016. So I'm trying to complete the run of the greens. I know that's a little bit weird, uh, but uh, but I've always liked to kind of like the green parallels. I know it's not really uh, highly sought after in the hobby. Greens and red, white, and blues I think are the ones that people just don't like, and they really don't like hyper either. Uh, despite how short print those are, but uh, pick this green up. Just a uh, interesting looking with orange. I mean, it's a <laughs> not orange. Yellow, purple, and green isn't really a great vibe, but uh, uh, wanted to pick it up because I'm going to try to complete that run from 2012 all the way uh, as long as LeBron keeps playing. So um, anyway, that's the last card on my mail day. Um, you know, not much to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. I'll keep doing these mail days every time I get, you know, uh, five or six cars just to kind of scroll through here. So three PMG Reds, a baby LeBron, a baby Kevin Porter, which hopefully one day will be, you know, 200 bucks and I'll flip it um, if he's who I think he is. And then, uh, you know, the big one here is just the Shaq, you know, Championship Galaxy, which is a really cool card. Shaq in his iconic pose. Um, you know, the, the heavier he got, the less he dunked with two hands and the more he dunked with one hand. In college, he dunked everything with two hands. I was uh, blessed enough to sit in the crowd and watch him play, you know, 40 or 50 games at LSU. Uh, well, maybe not that many home games, but something like that. Uh, so I got to see young Shaq dunk everything with two hands. But by the time he got to the Lakers, he was about 100 pounds heavier. So he was dunking everything with one hand. Effective nevertheless. Um, anyway, that's it for the mail day, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, keep collecting. Stay positive in the hobby. And peace.